And I have them in my big garden area because it's high fenced. It keeps the big girls out for the most part. Sometimes they find a way in, but for the most part it keeps them out so that the littles can run around and be out in the garden and eat grass and eat weeds and eat bugs and fly and just play. I started out with the bigger group, moved them from their brooder once they were fully feathered, and I set up this enclosure for them. And they started learning how to go in that little coop at night. At first they don't do that, but then they figure it out pretty quick. They stay nice and dry in there, and I close them up at night so that nothing can get at them. And in the morning, I let them come out. Pretty soon, they start getting adventurous. And so I have this gate that I prop open just enough so that, for the most part, only the chicks can get in and out. And they can wander around the backyard and explore. Hey, Tika. But the big girls can't get into them, which they really want to. Especially girls like Tish, who wants to be their mother, but she doesn't know how. And pretty soon, it'll be time to lock them all out of the garden. I'm thinking probably in a month these littler ones will be big enough that they can start to mingle with the big flock. They've learned all about all the noises that happen in the yard. And they're starting to get brave and they're starting to wander out. Hi, Tika. The bigger set of chicks are already um, going into the coop at night. I had to close the gate so they couldn't get back in here at night. And then I shooed them gently into the run and then into the door. And then I blocked it off so they couldn't get back out. That took about two or three nights of doing that. And then they adjusted and now they voluntarily go in at night. And that's what's going to happen to these littles in a few weeks. Right now they're still too young, but in a few weeks they should be ready. And I may keep this open for them, for them to play in during the day and be able to eat in peace. But I am going to have to train them. I'll probably put it in here with them on one of the treadle feeders. I've got another one coming in the mail. And I'll put it in here with all of the littles. So they get used to using just the treadle feeder. And then I will just move it outside the enclosure and close them off. And then little by little, I will move it to the run. So then they associate the run with where their food is. But for right now, we're just having fun playing in the garden, aren't we, Chica? Yeah. What's the matter, Blue? Blue. I call you Blue. What's the matter, Emily? You trying to get past me? Hmm? For now, this is Chick Paradise. Yes, I have a few things growing in here that I have kind of netted off. And that's my amaranth. They can eat all of that that they want. The peas are done for the year. And pretty much everything else in here is either protected or they're not going to hurt it. So my Most of my tomatoes and peppers, nearly all of them, are in the high tunnel. And they can't get at that. These tomatoes here, they haven't really bothered. But then there aren't any tomatoes on it really yet. There's just little green ones. Hopefully by the time it really starts producing tomatoes, these littles will be 
living in the big coop. Till then, this is the perfect little place, little, little perfect little kindergarten. Huh, Ryoko? Hmm? Little Helga? I worry more about her than any of the others. She will be my barometer for when they're ready to move in. Once I feel like she's big enough that she can handle herself, then the others will all move in. Till then, they'll stay out here.